Today we will talk about two logic gates, the AND and the NAND gate. Both have at least two inputs and one output. The AND gate implements logical conjunction. Let's have a look at its truth table. Its output is set to 1 if and only if all of the inputs are 1, otherwise the output is 0. In other words, if any input is low or 0, the output is 0 irrespectively of all the other inputs. The NAND gate, which name is a short for NOT AND, is, as you may have guessed, the AND gate with inverted output. Take a look at the symbols. The only difference between them is the little circle at the output of the NAND gate, which, as I mentioned in the previous video, signifies an inverted output. Let's see both in action on the breadboard. I'm using the two input versions, but you may find 12 or even 13 input NAND gates in the 7400 family. The two chips we are using are 7408, which contains the AND gates, and the 7400 containing the NAND gates. Both chips have four two input gates. The two inputs of the first gate are on pins 1 and 2, and the output is pin 3. As previously, I am using LEDs for each input and the output to show their logical states. I connected inputs of the AND and NAND gates together, so I'm driving uh, those inputs uh, with the same states, and already, as you can see, for both zeros at the inputs, the AND gate uh, outputs 0 and the NAND gate outputs 1. Let's switch uh, the state of one of the inputs. So we have 1 on the first input, 0 on the other input, Still, uh, the output didn't change because, uh, remember, for the AND gate both need to be 1 to uh, get um, 1 on the output, and of course in the NAND gate that would be 0. So 1, 1 <laughs> doesn't make output to switch to 1. Uh, let's check the other input. Yeah, it's still 0 for the AND gate and 1 for the NAND gate because one of the inputs is still zero, so the output doesn't change. Now let's switch the, the first input to one, and there we go, that's a change. Now if both inputs are one, the output is one for the AND gate, and zero for the NAND gate. Intel AT86 has an instruction which does bitwise AND on its operands. It is called, not surprisingly, AND. In C or C++, we have the double ampersand logical operator and the single ampersand for the bitwise version. In programming, we use AND mostly to pick and choose specific bits in a data, using the other operand called in this case the mask. That's because for each one in the mask, the corresponding bit in the data is preserved, all others are zeroed out. That's mostly used to inspect specific bits in a bitmap. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.